Yaba Vadish Ia Nibi Biganar, Horsa Gablur, okay? Dag Dag. Now Vina Fredishe. <laughs> The Sims 4 Party Essentials kit has dropped, and I cannot wait to use it to create all kinds of parties for the Sims that I created using the Urban Homage kit. If you haven't watched that video, check out the link in the description to do so. Who's ready to party? The Sims. But let's be honest, just throwing some Sims together with a few chairs isn't exactly the recipe for an epic bash. And the key to any unforgettable party is creating the perfect atmosphere. But how do we do this? So I want you to think for a moment about the best parties that you have ever been to in real life. What made them memorable? Was it the pulsating dance floor under a disco ball? Maybe it was the glowing lights and electrifying music at a rave. Or perhaps it was the warm string lights, laughter, and the delicious smells in a backyard barbecue setting. Visuals, music, and gameplay all come together to create a truly immersive party experience in The Sims 4. The Party Essentials Kit gives us amazing tools to set the scene, but it's up to us to use them creatively and leverage the power of The Sims 4 gameplay to tell a story through celebration. So buckle up because we're about to dive into the Party Essentials Kit and explore how to throw parties that are not only visually stunning, but also bursting with life and simtastic fun. The Party Essentials Kit may be small, but it has a lot going for it. Inside the kit, we have various spotlights, including the Party Light, the Party Starters, Colorific Gobo, different wall lights, including the fiber optic garland, and luminescent ribbons, which I personally love these ribbons. There's even backdrops, which are perfect for photo ops for your Sims. Best of party streamers, and the Simstagram worthy stereoscopic drape. For entertainment, there's a new wall speaker, the Good Vibes wall speaker, an LED backlit TV, a brand new stereo called the New Faithful Turntable, which I absolutely love the retro vibes, and a bar, which is probably the most simple retro bar that we have been given yet in The Sims. And let's not forget all of the clutter. The Sims team has given us a jar full of punch, complete with cocktail stirrers and cups. It's not functional, but it still looks cool. And some snack foods. And we even have the centerpiece food pedestal, which is perfect for your Sims cakes, desserts, or other tasty snacks. One of the most interesting things about this pack is the new disco ball. This disco ball comes in five different swatches. In live mode, it twirls and gives you a nice light pattern on the floor. The movement of the disco ball adds a sense of dynamism and excitement to your parties, encouraging Sims to hit the dance floor and soak in the vibrant energy. The neon lights, or specifically the Simstagram worthy neon sign, comes in a variety of different images. I mean, we've got the butterfly with a crown, retro 80s boombox, a cow plant, a llama, a UFO, flamingos with a crown, an action-packed sign in Simlish, and everyone's favorite DJ, the Freezer Bunny. This neon light, no matter what style you end up using, adds a bold visual punch to any party space. You can use them strategically to highlight specific areas like the dance floor or the bar, creating focal points that draw Sims in and enhance the overall energy. Just imagine for a minute, all of these put together. The disco ball casting a shower of colored light beams across the room, bouncing off the vibrant neon signs, 
giving you a nice dynamic interplay of light and movement, which will instantly elevate the party atmosphere, creating a visually stimulating and energetic environment. At least I think it does. And as you can see, one of the things that I absolutely love, if we go back into live mode and unpause the game. This is why I love LED curtains here, because the lights actually drop down very slowly. Now, that isn't all that this pack has to offer. I have saved truly the best for last, and I absolutely love these next items. We have the Fog Machine. The Fog Machine serves as a spotlight, but also introduces an element of mystery and intrigue to the party space. You're thinking, does the Fog Machine actually work? Yes. Yes, it does. And like I said, absolutely love. It gives off a lot of fog, which can be used not only in your raves, but also you can sneak these around and put them in builds, think haunted houses, graveyards, shrink it down to basically nothing. And the fog, it still stays the same size. So the fog does not size down with the fog machine. So yeah, you can size the fog machine down to create fog effects in loads of various places. If we head um, away from the fog machine and we put down the new minimalist dance floor. This dance floor is meant to be completely invisible in live mode. So it blends in seamlessly with the rest of your build. You won't even know it's there unless you hover over it. So as you can see in live mode, it's completely invisible. And if you hover over it, the outline of the dance mat shows. And it works, if you have music playing, it works just like every other dance floor. Uh, you can do group dances if you have the correct packs. You can do regular dances, you can show off your moves. Very same as, as just, you know, as every other dance floor out there. And finally, we have new balloons. We've got the Balloon Bouquet, which is a wall decor that kind of works as a curtain rod. So these are meant to be used with the streamers, this backdrop, and with the light curtains. And all three just seamlessly blend in perfectly with these balloons. We also have the Party Starters Balloon Pile, which is a pile of balloons that has been bedecked de with fairy lights. And the Party Starters Balloon Bundle, which is a floor light that resembles helium balloons. All of these balloons look absolutely beautiful, especially compared to the balloons that we have in the base game. You know, the anti-air balloons, for example, just off the top of my head. All of these balloons come in matching swatches, ranging from black and white to pure black to rainbow to pastel um, and everything in between. Remember, my friends, it's all about using these items creatively. Experiment with placement, lighting combinations, and music to achieve the perfect party atmosphere for your sims. I'm going to show you how you can use all of these items to create specific party themes. Let's head over to our first of three areas. We have the Retro Disco Night. You can combine the disco ball, neon lights, the fog machine, and different decorations from other packs and the base game to recreate a 70s disco vibe. So in this one, I've given the bar a bit of a backlight here. We put in the stereo, the wall backdrop here as a you know photo op, and a few other little retro pieces of furniture just to give off that bit of a 70s vibe. Moving over to the next party room, we've got the glow-in-the-dark rave. So we've got neon lights, fog machines, and no loads of neon lights and lots of purples and pinks to create a futuristic rave atmosphere. It would be even better if we could get these lights to have strobe flashes. Unfortunately, we don't have strobe lights in the game, so you do have to kind of pretend a little bit. 
Our third idea is the backyard barbecue. To pull off this party look, you want to focus on different types of outdoor furniture, coupled with colorful balloons and string lights to build a casual yet inviting backyard party space. So now that you're bursting with ideas for theme parties, let's talk about building the ideal party venue for each theme. Space is key. Bigger is often better when it comes to party venues. You want a large enough room to accommodate your desired numbers of sims and allow space for dancing, socializing, and activities. You want to think about the flow as well. Think about how your sims will move around the space and design a layout that facilitates conversation ideas, a designated dance floor, and easy access to the food and drink. If you're wanting to have a really large party, consider creating separate areas for different activities. So instead of everything in one room they could have one room being the dance floor with all things dancing so you could put in the dance floor the stereo or the dj booth in one room you could have a little side room say over here is just a little alcove for seating so that people can sit down and take a break chat with their friends or just relax and of course, with any party venue, you could you would also want a bathroom. So create another little alcove, maybe off of a seating area or a bathroom, another small room where people can just grab food and drinks. Think about what you would like to see or what you would expect to see in a party and try to incorporate those different things. So lighting pay, plays a crucial role in creating atmosphere. So as you can see in this example, I've put in the spotlights here that give a variety of beautiful lighting patterns on the floor. And they're also aimed at the dance floor along with the disco ball. And the combination of all of these things gives a really nice party effect. If you're wanting a club vibe, you can use Again, the mix, different mix of colored light sources, such as all the different light sources that we have in here. We've got this bar here that has LED lighting at the bottom. We've got lights here, the LED light strips that came with this kit here, lighting up these walls in pink. And I've also turned down the lighting, the intensity on most of these lights, just so that it gives you that nice rave dark feel. Again, like I said, if I could get these to flash, if there were strobe lights, uh, I think it would be even better, but you, you gotta work with what you've got in The Sims. And then finally, for the backyard barbecue, for something like this, you wanna go with warm natural lighting. So I made sure that I put in lots of fairy lights, these light up flower spinners, as well as the lights on the blooms. The neat thing about this new dance floor is that because it blends in with the rest of the flooring, you can put a vibrant rug under this dance floor to really make the area pop. For example, we can go in with the blue theme here and put the rug hungry from high school years pack just over the dance floor and your sims can still dance on it i could put a joke here about cutting a rug but i'm not going to don't forget the walls wall decorations can tie your entire theme together now you can add posters the dripping light curtains your neon light signs even pulling in things from other packs such as the retro modern cubbies from the bowling pack if you're wanting to do something like a birthday celebration you can use streamers and balloons like i said with the party essentials kit you, you can mix and match things to create whatever atmosphere that you want all right that is it for our deep dive into the party's essentials kit it's not a big pack, but it has a lot of opportunity for you to really create whatever you want to out of the contents of this pack. 
With a disco ball, neon lights, fog machine, and all the new party decorations, you've got everything you need to throw unforgettable themed parties for your sims. Remember, it is just a starting point. Experiment with lighting, room layout, and gameplay to create truly immersive party experiences. Think about the music, the activities, and how all of these elements can tell a story about your sims and their relationships. So my friends, it is your turn to get creative now. Throw an epic bash for your sims using the Party Essentials Kit. What kind of party will you create? A retro disco night? A glowing rave? Or maybe a backyard barbecue under the stars? Share your amazing party creations in the comments and don't forget to include the lot name and your gallery ID if you put them up on the Sims 4 gallery so that everyone can take a look. I cannot wait to see what awesome parties you come up with. Are you feeling stumped for party ideas? Head over to the comment section below. Leave a comment with your favorite type of party and let's brainstorm some epic themes together. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Sims 4 content and party planning tips. Until next time, happy simming.